In this video, we're going to go through a one sample t test. And frankly, one sample t tests aren't used um, nearly as much as what you see for independent t test or paired samples t test. But there are times to where you can use them. And here's a particular example within this particular data file. So here is this ethnocultural empathy scale. Actually, it's a subscale from that, the empathic feeling and expression scale. So here's their scores uh, off of that. And I want to see if um, the scores for this data file, uh, for this set of students, is similar to what we see nationally for the national norms. And so I've looked it up in a, in a journal article to find out what the national norms were. So I would go up to T-test one sample T, and down here is this test value, that's where I put the national norm. So 4.5 was the, the national average for this. I'll go down and I'll find um, this particular scale here. I'll move it over. I want effect size, I want descriptives um, for this. Those are the main things of what, what I care about for the one sample T test. And so you'll see over here, um, the T value is really quite large. Um, this is saying that the difference between the, the mean of the group in this data file and the, the national norms is about nine and a half times larger than what you'd expect by chance. And you'll notice it's negative here. All that means is it was four, the, in the numerator of the T statistic, it was 4.175 minus um, 4.5. So that gave us a negative value here for it. You'll see our degrees of freedom um, of 778. Our total sample size here of N was 779 minus 1. And then our p-value is less than 0 0.001. The probability of getting a T this large by chance is really, really remote. And then we've got our Cohen's D. This Cohen's D of, of 0.34 is a, is a small to moderate um, sized uh, effect size here. And you'll see the we down here we have our descriptives for um, for our our sample population. So again, we compared a sample um, to the to the actual population, the national norms here. Um, and so here are all our descriptives for uh, for that for our for our the sample um, that we have that we made the comparison with. Okay, so we have these results. How would we end up writing? How would we write them up? And so again, remember, we go up here, our upside down triangle, we hit copy, and then we go to our Word document and paste those uh, results there. And then up here, you'll notice I've, I've written our results up. Bethel students, and then I've got the mean and standard deviation scored significantly lower on this, this particular subscale compared to the national norm. And I give the national norms just their, the mean for the national norm. And then I've got T and then 778. That's our degrees of freedom um, that we saw right here. Um, I've got the T value as we saw right here. Remember, we, we usually only go two decimal places for this. Um, and then P less than 0 0.001. And so that, that's our property, probability value is less than 0 0.001 of getting a T that large by chance. And then our Cohen's D um, over here. What's better about this in terms of rather than just saying there was a significant difference is um, did, it's helpful if you tell the reader, OK, who scored higher and who scored lower? I mean, what were, what were the significant results that existed here? So then to say scored significantly lower is is helpful um, in that way for for the results. So that's how we would write it up. Quite simple, all pretty succinct in one sentence. And it gives the, the reader the information that they that they need. Again, reminder here that whenever there's a symbol, we, in APA style, we italicize the symbol. So you'll notice the M for mean and the SD for standard deviation are italicized. The T is italicized, the P is italicized, and the D is italicized. Okay.